Hello, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage, and today we're back for another segment on how-tos with your GMC Denali. Now, the one thing that uh, always confused me originally when I got my Denali is it had a park, reverse, neutral, and an L button. And the L button always uh, would grab a gear, and uh, it would, you go into L, and it says L1. Now, L1 will lock in first gear, now the one thing is that you also have on your drive shifter, you have a plus and a minus button. And as you push the plus button, you will see that it will go to L2, L3, L4, all the way through L8, which is an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, right here, if I'm in L8, this is gonna work just like I was in D just like I was in drive. So the transmission will shift automatically through its sequences and it is going to go down to first gear when you slow down, just like you would in L. And what happens though, what the beauty of this is, if you're towing a heavy load or you need a heavy acceleration, when I'm towing, I always run in L8. And then what I have the option to do is to downshift periodically when I need a little extra performance and the transmission's not giving me that next lower gear. And when I downshift, if I downshift to a point that I'm at a speed that that truck does not like that gear, it will deny me the downshift. So this is a fail safe. You don't have to worry about shifting down too low at any speed. You can also use this as a uh, braking mechanism with your trailer. So when you're coming to a stop sign, you can just keep hitting uh, the, the L button, the, the minus button, and getting it down as close to L1 as possible. And as the speed reduces uh, where it denies you a gear, you'll eventually get that gear back. So we hope this has been a helpful, informative video on how to operate your automatic transmission in manual mode.